Hi, I'm Jeff Herman, and I'm going to demonstrate how to refinish a hammerhead. It's very important to me to have uh, hammers that are ready to use without rust, uh, without having to refinish them. Uh, I want to be able to just put my hand on it and use it right away, uh, which will save time. So this is my very favorite tray hammer, and I'm going to put a scratch in it. And now it's not my favorite tray hammer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this scratch using a Trizact belt. This is a 1200 grit and it's going to remove these scratches. I'm going to use my respirator even though I have dust collection here and also my safety glasses. Now you'll notice that I've been removing uh, the stock with the wheel portion, which gives much more force against the head. And so that's removed the scratch, and now I'm going up to this area, which will blend all those flat marks together and give me a nice consistent finish. So this is an end re the end result. Some people may actually be able to use this face the way it is with the 1200 grit finish, but I like to keep my hammer faces, especially the tray hammer faces, nice and bright so when I'm hammering a tray, the hammer marks will be bright and I won't have to remove any uh, abrasive lines. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go over to the polishing lathe and use uh, a stitch buff with Zam polish to remove any of these marks and give it a nice high finish and it'll be ready to, to wax afterwards. I'm here at my polishing lathe, ready to polish this hammerhead, and I'm using a stitched buff. And what I wanna make sure of is that the face of this buff is nice and flat. I'm going to put on my respirator. Even though I have a very, very strong dust collector, it's just for peace of mind. A lot of the fibers will be caught in this AstroTurf as well. By the way, I'm using a broken grinding wheel to face off this wheel. Now I'm going to apply the Zam, which is both a polishing and cutting compound. So when I'm polishing, I want to go in a crisscross method. This will give me a nice, consistent surface without any high or low spots. Oh, look at how beautiful the face of that hammer is. Another reason for keeping your hammers looking really beautiful is that you'll want to use these hammers. This should be part of your weekly, monthly, yearly uh, maintenance of taking care of your tools and making sure that they're always in tip-top condition. So now what I'll do is I'll, I'll apply some Carnuba wax. And it's essentially a bowling alley wax. And this is a little on the hot side because of all that surface friction. Normally I would let it dry and then buff it off with a paper towel. And then you'll be able to draw your fingernail across and you'll see how slick it is. This is going to last a long time while it's uh, in your hammer rack. That's how you refinish a hammerhead.